Hey lovely mamas, welcome back to What Mommy Loves. Today we're going to be exploring the fourth trimester and this phase usually gets less spotlight compared to the first three trimesters. But it is equally transformative because this is just the start of parenting. So today we're going to explore key topics such as what to expect in the fourth trimester, what to avoid and essential products for moms and babies in this phase. Let's dive right in. The fourth trimester is the first three months after childbirth and it's just the time where yourself and your baby will get to know each other. So it's a period of adjustment for the mom and the baby. Here are some things you can do to navigate and make the most of the fourth trimester. Now for some moms, this is a time for them to put on their capes and be the super mom they've always wanted to be. But my sister... This is a time for you to prioritize rest and recovery. Sleep when your baby sleeps. You're already a super mom for going through pregnancy and delivering a bundle of joy. So you don't need to impress anyone. Neither do you need to prove anything to anyone. So sleep when your baby sleeps. That way you can get energized and also be agile enough to look after your newborn. Another thing to do is to spend quality time bonding with your baby. So things like holding them, giving them lots of cuddles, talking to them, smiling with them and engage in skin to skin contact. Now skin to skin contact is helpful because it helps to strengthen the parent and child bond. When it comes to breastfeeding, you can choose to breastfeed or not depending on your circumstance. But if you choose to breastfeed, it's helpful for you to establish a comfortable breastfeeding routine that works for you and your baby. You can also seek support from a lactation consultant who will be there to guide you and advise you on what to do with breastfeeding. You might also consider bottle feeding as an option and this is a time for you to explore different bottle feeding brands and see which one your baby likes and which one works for you guys. It's also a time for you to establish the type of formula milk that you'll offer your baby. Explore different bottles and teeth because some babies prefer a certain type of teeth with their bottles. So you need to explore that and see which one works for your baby. With bottle feeding, you have to sterilize the bottles correctly. So always ensure that with every feed, you sterilize the bottle and also prepare the feed according to the recommended instructions. Another tip is for you to practice self-care, whether it's going out for a walk, having a warm bath, or even steaming, quote unquote, your birth canal. Yes, postnatal womb steaming is essential for faster healing of your reproductive system and just helps you tighten your lady parts so that it returns back into shape as before. And it significantly reduces the feeling of looseness or air bubbles in your lady parts. Be sure to accept help from friends and family wherever possible, whether it is for them to bring you a meal or just help you with your day-to-day -day chores. Attend postpartum checkups with your healthcare provider. These appointments are crucial for the health of yourself and your baby, for your physical and your emotional well-being because some women suffer from postnatal depression. So it is important for you to ensure that you attend these checkups. This is also a good time to bond with people, not just your baby. So connect with other moms by joining local or online mama groups, whereby you can share experiences, stories, and some insights with other moms going through the same experience as yourself. Focus on nutritious foods like a balanced diet. This also supports with breastfeeding and just your general well-being. You can also go out for some fresh air and practice gentle exercises like pelvic floor exercises, stretches, yoga, or even short walks, which can help boost your mood and your energy. Be sure to take lots of photos and document this special moment of your newborn being so little. You can also learn about newborn care, parenting, or even postpartum changes from books or reputable sources. 
Now that we've been able to navigate what to expect during the fourth trimester, it's important for new moms to be mindful of certain things to ensure smooth recovery and promote a healthy environment for yourself and your baby. So here are some things for you to avoid during the fourth trimester. Number one is to avoid any strenuous activities, any heavy lifting. This is just a period for you to rest and recover. You need to avoid overexertion as much as possible. Number two is to avoid overwhelming yourself with too many visitors. So while support is crucial at this time, it's important for you to avoid too many visitors and to put the well-being of your baby first. Number three is to avoid unhealthy or overly processed foods. Number four is to prioritize your mental health. So if you are going through depression or anxiety, speak to a healthcare provider. Number five, do not skip any of your postpartum checkups with your healthcare provider. Number six, do not neglect your self-care. Number seven, pay attention to any signs of infection, such as increased pain or swelling, redness, or even an unusual discharge. You can report these symptoms during your healthcare checkups. Number eight, be mindful not to overstimulate your baby. So allow for periods of rest and quiet time. Number nine, avoid high impact exercises as this can pose a risk for your well-being. Number 10 is to avoid excessive screen time as this can disrupt sleep patterns and hinder the development of healthy routines. Now that we've been able to uncover what to expect and what to avoid during the fourth trimester, here is the fun part. Now I'm going to give you 10 products that would support you as a mom during the fourth trimester. The first one is to have a postpartum recovery kit and this kit can include a perineal spray, soothing gel pads, sanitary pads and comfortable mesh underwear. The second essential item is nursing bras and tops. So these just help to support your breasts during breastfeeding and just to make you feel more comfortable during the day. The third one is breast pump and breast pumps are helpful for moms who plan to express milk or build a freezer stash for whenever they need support with feeding their baby. The fourth one is nipple cream and nipple creams are so helpful especially when you're breastfeeding because breastfeeding can be challenging for your nipples. A product that I would recommend is lanolin and it helps to relieve any soreness and assist in healing your nipples. The fifth item is to get comfortable loungewear. So anything loose fitting, soft, comfortable will be ideal for anyone who has just given birth get yourself a supportive postpartum belly wrap and belly wraps help to provide gentle compression it also helps with back support and abdominal muscle recovery number seven is to get a peri bottle and the peri bottle just helps moms keep clean during postpartum bathroom visits number eight is to get a quality nursing pillow Nursing pillows are great support for moms who plan to breastfeed and it just helps to promote a comfortable position for the mom and the baby. Number nine is to get a diaper caddy and a diaper caddy helps to keep all of your diaper changing essentials together and organized in one place so that they are easy to reach. A diaper caddy includes diapers, wipes, diaper rash creams and other necessities. Number 10 is to indulge in a soothing sits bath soak and this can provide relief for any perennial discomfort and promote healing. It's a relaxing addition to a postpartum self-care routine. Always remember that every mom's experience is unique and different and preferences may vary so these products aim to enhance comfort and support you during the fourth trimester. Now let's move over to 10 essential products to help care and support your baby. The first one is swaddle blankets and swaddle blankets help to keep your baby snug and help them feel secure. 
The second essential product is onesies with built-in mittens. Now these mittens help to keep the baby's hands warm and they also help them avoid scratching their face. The third essential product is baby carriers or baby wearing wraps and this just helps you carry your baby along with you as you go about your day. It fosters closeness and warmth for your baby. The fourth item is to consider natural sources like water to clean your baby. Water and cotton wool is ideal to clean your baby during the first three months after delivery to minimize the risk of irritation such as diaper rash. You can consider using hypoallergenic diapers and wipes. Number five is to get a baby bouncer or swing and this just provides a gentle rocking motion that helps to soothe babies to sleep. Number six is pacifiers and there's a bit of a love-hate relationship with pacifiers as some people support it and some people don't but pacifiers help to provide comfort. Number seven is white noise and white noise can create a calm environment that mimics the sounds the baby had when it was in the womb, promoting better sleep. You can search for white noise sounds on YouTube. Number eight is to get an absorbent burp cloth on hand to keep yourself and your baby clean when the baby spits up. Number nine essential product is a baby bathtub and a baby bathtub is small, ergonomic which just helps to make bath times safe and enjoyable you can look for the ones with a newborn sling for added support number 10 essential item is a gentle baby care product such as baby shampoos baby wash baby lotions these help to soothe newborn babies Opt for products with no fragrance as much as possible or minimal fragrance to avoid potential skin irritation. So always remember to prioritize safety, comfort and simplicity when choosing products for your baby because every baby is different, every baby is unique. So pay attention to the ideal products suitable for your baby's skin. So that's it for this content. The fourth trimester is such an exciting phase to experience. Be sure to leave a comment down below about your experience or even the types of products that you used and you recommend for another mom who is seeking this information. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I also have a brand new podcast called What Mommy Loves Podcast and you can find me on all podcast platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and so many more. If like me you like to listen to a podcast on your daily commute, you can check out my podcast. I will be updating it with content on pregnancy and parenting tips guidance, support and advice. Big congratulations for the delivery of your baby. I wish you all the best in your parenting journey. I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed time with your baby. Bye! But I went